anyone else feel like Skyrim is a little, hmm, how should I say this, uh, watered down? Well, sometimes I do, and today we're going to fix that. I'm going to be increasing the RPG-ness of Skyrim tenfold. First, we need to get rid of Skyrim's leveled items and leveled enemies, so Skyrim unleveled, taking the player off the center stage. This means that the bad guys are not always going to be around the same level as you. The world doesn't revolve around you, man. Some areas are going to be way too hard for you to complete at level 1, just like the way the RPG gods intended it to be. You must come prepared in order to succeed. If you're having trouble clearing out a dungeon, you'll have to come back later and level up or gear up a bit, you know, whatever. Oh, yeah, you know I had a birthday last year, right? Well, uh, since you forgot to get me a birthday present, I guess you can just subscribe and press the like button on this video. Skyrim Unleveled was designed to work alongside Moral Loot. Moral Loot does pretty much the same thing as Skyrim Unleveled except with the loot you find around the world. No more getting those crappy iron daggers at the end of a tough dungeon. Many items have been removed from the leveled loot list and are put physically in the world someplace where you would logically find them. So no more orcish equipment found in Dwemer Ruins. Overall with this mod, there's not such an abundance of powerful armor. This is good because when you finally get your hands on a piece of ebony armor, it actually feels like an accomplishment. Moralu also adds some cool weapons and other artifacts from previous Elder Scrolls games, like the Skull Crusher, a Wraith Guard, and a bunch of others. Another small but necessary tweak is display enemy level. Since we've unleveled Skyrim, it's going to be critical that we know what level the enemies are when we fight them. This mod simply adds the enemies level below their health bar. So you've heard of Live Another Life, but have you heard of Realm of Lorcan? It's another alternate start mod, but this one was designed for role-playing enthusiasts. With this mod, you start the game in the realm of Lorcan. Here, you can go around and select the equipment, stats, and standing stones you want to start the game with. Plus, they have these things called boons and curses, which are custom permanent modifications that truly make your character unique. Some of the changes are things like Bardic Knowledge, which allows you to summon a ghostly drum for extra stamina regeneration, or the Curse of the Unlucky, which gives enemies a 10% chance to critically hit you. The Realm of Lorcan puts you in charge and allows you to start the game exactly the way you want to. You can start the game as a little peasant farmer with nothing but a shovel and a few leaks to your name. Or perhaps you'd rather be an Alpha Sigma Giga Chad stuck in the dungeons of an orc stronghold. With this mod, you can do it all. Having all these options in the character creation menu is great, but what about after? You know, when you're in the world leveling up and choosing perks, Skyrim's vanilla perks have gotten so bland. Well, don't you worry, little baby birds. I'll feed ya. Oh yeah, I'll feed ya, alright. Ordinator overhauls all the perk trees by adding a total of 469 new perks. No longer will you have to fall back on the same sneak archer build you always somehow find your way into. You can become a Nazgul from Lord of the Rings and just scare everyone. Or how about this Hexweaver build that focuses on alchemy and monster slaying? Hmm, sounds a little familiar. Or my personal favorite, the Skuma Addicted Skeleton Charmer. Basically, you take a bunch of Skuma and you summon skeleton after skeleton. What could be better than that? Ordinator is a mod that everyone should have in their load order no matter what. It's essential and super lore friendly, and there's tons of builds online that people come up with. And then just to add a little bit more spice to your build creation, we're going to use Apocalypse, Magic of Skyrim, and you know why? It adds over 150 new spells to the game. I mean, come on, we love spells. Oh my god, there's so many spells. What am I going to do with all of these? Oh yeah, I got a couple ideas. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? This won't end well for you. Show me that Cloud District now, Nazim. A few of my favorite spells added by this mod are, of course, the Twister spell. As you can see, it creates a tornado that sucks up the enemy and, you know, throws them around and does a lot of damage. Another fun one is Summon Kyrkrim. Ky Kyrkrim. You summon this crazy wolf mount that people run away from. Oh yeah, and of course, we can't forget the Weeping Daedra. With this spell, you summon a Weeping Daedra that steals tons of health from your enemies, but then turns to stone when they look at it. I swear, these Weeping Angels are finding their way into everything. Did you ever notice how quiet your character is? They don't say anything, like ever. I guess except for when they're shouting, you know, they're dragonborn and stuff like that. Well, with player voice set, your character will talk a lot more. It really makes you feel like your character is a part of the world and not just some mute entity bumbling their way around. What have you got? With this mod, you have a plethora of options to choose from. You can even make your human character sound like a sultry Khajiit trader if you wanted to. Give up while you still can. Plus, with the option to add custom voices, the possibilities are endless. And since your character talks now, wouldn't it be nice if there were more dialogue options? Well, duh. Immersive Speechcraft allows you to talk to pretty much any NPC now. For instance, every person that you talk to, you could try and get them to follow you, or maybe even make a trade. Not interested in logical conversation? No problem. Try using the trick option, and the NPC will stop and bend over. Of course, then they'll just get mad because you made a complete fool out of them. But don't worry about that. Just mug them. I mean, they didn't laugh at your jokes, so they kind of deserve this. 
Did you know that the dragons in Skyrim, you know, the game about dragons, aren't actually dragons at all? No, they're wyverns. Real dragons? Yes, dragons are real. Have four limbs and two wings. These fake Skyrim dragons only have two limbs and two wings. Come on, Todd. But that's all besides the point. The point is these vanilla dragons are too plain. We need some more variation, which is where Diverse Dragons Collection comes in. This mod adds 28 new custom enemy dragons with unique models, textures, and abilities. Like, look at some of these dragons. They're so cool. We've got this Akavari, Akaviri, which I'm sure is Japanese for something, but I just like that it has this wicked mustache. Then of course, for the Minecraft lovers, there is a Nether Dragon. My favorite one that I've seen so far is probably the Zephyr Dragon. Look at it. It's got feathers. And the feathers are actually modeled really well. Oh, and if you're wondering what armor my character has been wearing this entire video, it's called the Wind Ruler Armor. I really like this armor set because it feels something like you'd find in a FromSoft game. It still looks like it belongs in Nordic Skyrim, but has more of a dark fantasy flair, which I'm always into. There's an additional mod that comes with this armor that allows you to change the color of the hair, remove it all together, or do a bunch of other things. I got all these mods from nexusmods.com. I'd include links in the description, but sometimes YouTube doesn't like that. I've got them all linked on my Discord in the Handcrafted Mod List channel if you're interested. Thanks for watching. You're all beautiful. Okay, bye.